Hi everyone, hello Ramblas, hello YouTube, welcome to devlog number 11. And right out to start, I have some good news, uh, because Duru, our game uh, before Was It Poison, uh, got nominated for Best Serious Game at the DCP. And the DCP is the Deutsche Computerspiel Prize. Uh, in English, it would be the German Video Game Award. And yeah, it's exciting. It means we will be going to Munich in April to find out uh, if we not only nominated, but maybe we won. And I congratulate the other two nominees whoever they might be, because <laughs> at this moment we only got the mail where it says, oh, you got nominated, congrats. I tried to find some more information, who else is nominated, uh, but I can't. So uh, I will congratulate them later on and uh, <laughs> yeah, see them at the, uh, at the Grand Gala on the 18th of April. So cross your fingers. So that was, you know, short but exciting news on Duru. Now we move on to Wizard Poison. Um, Berlina and I sat together and made uh, basically a four week plan. And the plan is to be able to create a demo in time for the registration deadline of the Indie Game Fest. The Indie Game Fest is a small ish games convention in Cologne. And we've been there two times already with Duru. Uh, it's like it's like a very comfy, homey um, feeling convention, and people take their time to play your game and talk with developers. The organizers are very nice people, so we hope we can make it. But yeah, after after last week, um, there's a little dent in my confidence that we can make it. But let's check out the plan. So basically, first week. <laughs> Um, of the four-week uh, demo sprint is creating a murder, write a story, create the asset list. Um, all of it got done and the asset list basically is a list of pictures, images, graphics, etc. that I need from Brina. Um, and you can see it here. It has like three categories and as I go along writing the story and writing dialogue, maybe I will, you know, ask for some more, but basically this is everything we need for the demo. Week two, I hit a little bit of a road bump with, you know, finishing the crime line view because I had a very annoying bug. It took me two weeks to figure out what was actually wrong because the um, engine didn't give me any error messages or anything. It just crashed <laughs> every time. Um, but I fixed this problem so I can move on to the next thing, which would be coding the character view, but I might put it on hold because it's not that important. Um, what is important is connecting the ink logic, ink is the story engine we use, um, with Godot. So if something in ink happens, you can call on functions in Godot, like uh, the game engine, and thus you can have those two interconnect. Week three, <laughs> if everything goes well, is writing the dialogue and write the ink logic, which goes, you know, hand in hand. And after that, I will, you know, finalize the dialogue, ensure the playthrough, integrate the graphics, which is, you know, the least difficult step <laughs> of the way. So I put it right in the end because that's something that can be done fairly quickly. I say now. <laughs> Maybe not. We will see. Another thing I worked on was creating some more Art Deco UI elements and they are basically for your murder theory. So you have a set of motives for the murder um, that are basically always the same. And I found out through, you know, working my way through the internet and some papers that according to Belinda Parker and uh, Amber McKinley, there are seven motives for murder, or they suggest seven motives for murder. Um, and they are anger, gain, love, concealment, jealousy, and revenge. And if you count it with me, it's six, because the seventh one is thrill. So if you if your motive is basically excitement and curiosity, and I'm not sure if that's something that we want to include, 
And for those, I made these uh, <laughs> lovely graphics. Uh, basically, everyone represents one of the six motifs that we're currently planning on including. And of course, there is like uh, text to it as well, but <laughs> I left it out so you can guess which one is which. And this, thus, I can also see if they work as, you know, UI elements that are easily read <laughs> and look interesting enough. So let me know in the comments what you think and if you can guess which of those icons goes with which one of the six motives. So this is it already for this week's devlog. Um, and in the next two weeks, we will work on you know, the next step of our four week demo sprint. So hopefully I can show you some images that Verena created uh, because this time we will not see that much of character art from her, but environments. And I'm super hyped because this is, you know, what binds everything together and we can then have a full visual of the game. So I hope you're as excited as I am. And you are as excited to thank our lovely patrons. <laughs> oh god. Sorry, there was uh, nearly an accident outside. Oh my god, that was... Ooh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's thank our patrons, who are Gunnar, Thomas, Philip, Heaven's Revenge, Granador, Sven, B2, Hauke and Michaela. Thank you guys very, very much for supporting us, for supporting our game. Um, and I hope you like these updates and you like the other behind the scenes stuff that is going on on patreon.com. If you're interested, you can head there over as well. Most of the things we post there are early access for our supporters, for our patrons, but some, most, some, most of them will become accessible for everybody later on. So on Patreon, you can follow, um, even if you don't pay, if that's something you like. <laughs> But other than that, I will see you in two weeks. <laughs> Pixel is here to say goodbye as well. You will be, you know, keeping me sane in the next two weeks where I try and <laughs> do coding work in Godot. And you will, of course, distract me all the time because he's the cutest. All right. Until then, <laughs> have a good two weeks uh, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.